So, in the end, you escaped, hidden on that truck? Yep. What about the shit you told me about not escaping in a truck to prevent pollution? Because the first time, it would have been me behind the wheel. This time, the truck was going to leave, with or without me. Which means the pollution wasn't my fault. How convenient. Fox, do you copy? Hey, it's the Concrete Paparazzi. <laughs> concrete Paparazzi. Ha, <laughs> such an asshole. But I like it. How's that escape of yours going? Making progress. I'm currently stowed away in a truck. Communications are hot. You really pissed them off, Fox. I guess we're both gifted with pissing people off. Sorry about the concrete joke, by the way. Nah, don't worry about it. Better to have a sense of humor about being jailed over some concrete blocks. By the way, you haven't seen them, right? I've seen concrete everywhere, Robert. But nothing as big as you mentioned. Ah, well. Send a postcard when you get home, my friend. Definitely. Over and out. The truck stopped at last. Its destination was a small port owned by the clandestine base. Looked like the truck was carrying packages to be transported by sea. As we arrived, I overheard a conversation between the driver and a hangar officer. Are you gonna tell me what the fuck you're bringing me at this time of night? Sir, I have an order to send this load by sea. Fuck! You're waking me up for this? I already told your officer. All maritime operations are cancelled. We're waiting for the nuclear warheads to arrive. And we won't ship anything else. Until there's a new order. Hold on. You said nuclear warheads? Yes, that's what I heard them say. God save us. That's impossible. You sound just like the Colonel. Colonel Harris, are you there? Here I am, son. You sound tense. Are you all right? Where are you? I escaped in a truck. I'm now in a hangar at a port. That's great news. Find a phone and call. Not so fast, Colonel. It's an ex-army port. I'm not safe yet. I have new information about Operation Jericho. Just overheard a conversation. Sounds like they're waiting for... nuclear warheads. Nuclear warheads? That's impossible. Are you certain? That's what I heard. This can't be. You just can't pluck nuclear weapons out of thin air. They're extensively regulated. Is it possible they stole them? Yeah, we don't have any news about any theft in any country. If they were stolen, Either a country hid the fact, or it happened while I was captive here. Is it possible to build them? These people have a lot of resources. They need radioactive material, and it can't be freely obtained. Not to mention, a big lab, and highly skilled people to produce them. Whatever the case, they managed to acquire some. If that's true, son, we're screwed. Hold on, Colonel. I heard something. Crap, they started the engine. I'll call you later. I have to jump out before the truck drives off. Hey, Colonel. Still alive? Affirmative, son. Do you know about any attack in the last month? Not at all, Colonel. Although the press says what they want to say. Damn press bastards! What are they good for? Absolutely nothing.
Hey, Leonard, look! It's the prisoner! Leonard, not Mike. These guys were Leonard's. Mike doesn't fit engineers. Quick! Call for backup! So they get the credit? No way! I'm fed up with them making fun of us just because we're engineers. You're right, Leonard. They treat us like nobodies because we don't carry a rifle. Our weapon is our intellect. To the controls! We'll tell them we saw the prisoner. <laughs> Activating radial saw. Guys, you're engineers. Don't play soldiers with me, okay? I won't hurt you. Come on, let me pass. I'll give you some trading cards. Eat a dick. Fine. I don't know what you have on those computers, but any unsaved work is going to get lost. The saws were controlled by the terminals. I only had to destroy them, and with all the noise in the hangar, a few explosions wouldn't draw any attention. But I had to be careful not to kill the engineers, and heal them in case they got injured. Copy, Colonel. Still in that hangar? Yes, Colonel. Still trying to figure out how to get out of here. By the way, guess what? They have a mini rescue submarine. Rescue? <laughs> These people don't look like they go around rescuing people. I'm getting inside to have a look. Maybe I can ride it out of here. <laughs> I inspected the mini submarine before I left. Well, look at what we have here. Fiddling with the controls, levers, and compartments, I managed to discover the submarine's logbook. It contained details about its last mission, a rescue operation. The details didn't catch my attention at first. But this logbook turned out to hold exactly the answers we were looking for. The fourth document was the logbook of a mini rescue submarine. It mentioned its last mission, a successful rescue operation from a week ago. The target was a sinking submarine. The K-278 Consomolets, suffering from an onboard fire in the Barents Sea. Apparently, two nuclear torpedoes were salvaged during the job. The warheads involved in Operation Jericho. The third file of Operation Jericho. Did you find anything, Fox? I found a logbook with a single recorded mission. It says, Mission, Deep Rescue, Successfully Completed. Return date. Fuck, a week ago. I'll continue reading. Rescue in the Barents Sea. 
Objective, Submarine K-278 Komsomolets. Damn it, the Komsomolets. Have you heard of it? Of course. It's a Soviet submarine that sank after catching fire. But I can't think of any connection between these scum and the Soviets. Maybe they're a Russian faction and went to rescue their comrades. Or they could be trying to trade the crewmen for Russian nukes or something. Fox, this wasn't a rescue mission. But the log says... The Komsomol had sank over a year ago. There's not a soul alive down there. It's not people they were hauling. It was something else. Colonel, what was the sub armed with? Well, as far as I know, two nuclear torpedoes. Fuck! There it is. The nuclear warheads for Operation Jericho. Kindly donated by the Soviet Union in a game of Finders Keepers. If what you say is true, they had to bring those torpedoes in by sea and take them to a lab. The whole Comsolots have been contaminated by the radiation, which means they would need a sarcophagus. A sarcophagus? Like the one for Tutankhamun? Did you smoke something, Colonel? Don't be an idiot, Fox. A sarcophagus is something that confines radiation, preventing everyone from dying while they transport the goods. It has to be something thick, heavy. Like two huge concrete blocks. Fuck, I have to call Robert. Fox, wait. What's up, Colonel? I hear footsteps. Soldiers are walking down the hall. Damn it. I think my time is up. Listen to me carefully, son. The situation is critical. You have to escape as soon as possible and call the Cavalier. Understood? The fate of countless people rests on you, Fox. Colonel Harris out. That was my final communication with Colonel Harris. Colonel, do you copy? Colonel? Shit, he must have been taken. Jesse here, do you copy? I hear you. Fox, looks like you're gonna transfer a prisoner. Someone called Alan Harris. I know. Do you know what they plan to do? No idea, Fox. But looks like the orders are coming from top brass. You're really pissing them off, my friend. Be careful. Maybe they'll use him against you. I'll keep that in mind. By the way, I have something to tell you about your concrete. Don't tell me him. Man, you rock. I don't know where they are, but they've been used as a sarcophagus. A sarcophagus? Like the one for Tutankhamun? Did you smoke something, Fox? Of course not. I mean a thick container to contain radiation. Radiation? Please tell me they're not nukes. They are, from a sunken Soviet submarine. Shit. That's why there's so much secrecy and surveillance. Cheer up, Robert. Your capture isn't for something trivial anymore. It's for a nuclear arms race. Fuck, fuck, fuck! This news is to bomb! That's a literal way to say it. Keep me informed, my friend. I want to know all the deets. I will, Robert. Over and out. Jesse here. Over. Finally located a recycling bin. I've been needing one for a while. Why the hell did you need a recycling bin? To get rid of some stuff. But couldn't you just toss them on the ground? Are you taking me for some sort of shitbag? You were behind enemy lines. It wouldn't be unreasonable. Look, Lieutenant, I don't abandon my principles at the first sign of adversity. I see. Now, why did you get rid of items that may be handy later? Because the more stuff you have, the more you're a slave to your own possessions. And nothing enslaves me. So, I threw away everything that I didn't need. An act that's common to minimalists such as yourself. Minimalist? Me? Where'd you get that stupid idea? Take a look at yourself. You look angry and disappointed. As if you're having minimalist intercourse. How dare you! Relax, Sergeant. It's obvious what Mr. Fox is trying to do. We've been here for a long time. We're tired, even slightly agitated. Mr. Fox is trying to take advantage of that by getting on my nerves with petty insults. 
hoping I attack him and provide an officer misconduct charge that enables him to be set free. But that is not going to work, Mr. Fox. Look, I'm used to interrogating assholes like you. Fuck. You got me, officer. I underestimated you. Fuck. I have to admit that you're very good. Uh, well, thanks. I'm, uh... <clears throat> yeah, well, uh, let's continue. You said that you got rid of some items. Putting the key in the lock and turning it, the sub started to move. I took the mini submarine through underground channels beneath the hangar. Seriously? Now you can drive mini submarines? Nope. Never done it before in my life. But I found a manual. Can you read Russian? Of course not. It wasn't English. The mini submarine was American. It was a pretty smooth ride. I didn't have to worry about the battery levels, oxygen, or depth. And the inside was very comfortable. I could practically live in there. Huh, well, of course. It's an American product. What did you expect? Yeah, but you know how American vehicles are. They practically explode on contact. Ever seen an action movie? Anyways, that's why I avoided any hard collisions.
had to feel lonely, locked in that submarine underwater. Nah, I had some company. Boss defeated. <laughs> <laughs> 